Surprising. Stunning. Downtown Fargo, 2009. Just named by the American Planning Association one of America's 10 best neighborhoods 24-7. Something for everyone. A great place to live, work, shop, play, and learn. It wasn't very many years ago that downtown had a much different rep. No place to be after dark. No reason to be after dark, except for the bars. Downtown was tired and confused. A place with no place in Fargo's scheme of things. Downtown hadn't always been that way. Before Fargo's exodus to the suburbs, downtown was the center of everything. Shopping, employment, entertainment, professional services. The city center. But like most communities across the land, Fargoans adopted a car culture that had many effects, especially downtown. Shopping, services, and employment soon moved out leaving the former dense environment of downtown to deteriorate and die. This typical American response, if you can't beat them, join them, resulted in many downtowns, including ours, trying to become another mall closing or altering downtown streets and stalling furniture, canopies, playgrounds, and giving up its identity as a unique urban place. After decades of decline, main streets across North Dakota, in communities large and small, received a subtle gift from the 1999 legislature, the Renaissance Zone an idea borrowed from Michigan to respond to failing downtowns, squeaked through the assembly, barely surviving the final vote. Fargo's Renaissance Zone started with the comprehensive renovation of the Light Tower Johnson Associates Building on Main Avenue. One by one, projects began to happen all over the zone, changing the way downtown looked and the way we looked at downtown. Since that first pioneering project, Fargo's downtown has seen more than 180 downtown projects valued at $100 million more RZ projects followed, eventually adding restaurants, apartments, stores, and condos. People were actually buying homes in the upper stories of old downtown buildings. It is clear that the RZ is a transformative tool, providing property owners and their tenants a valuable and effective tool for the revitalization of downtowns across the state. RZ projects aren't the only story. Proximity to the zone has helped to generate additional public improvements along with private sector expansions, like the $60 million expansion at Merit Care's downtown campus and the fantastic stride into downtown by NDSU's Schools of Architecture, Fine Arts, and Business. It's been 10 years since the first RZ project, and a lot has changed. A lot. Now, with the extension of the program by the 2009 legislature, this valuable tool will be available to North Dakota communities for many years to come. Downtown Fargo has recently adjusted the boundaries of its Renaissance Zone to begin to accommodate the opportunities made apparent with the expansion of NDSU into downtown. And while the program has been an excellent catalyst for the renovation of historic structures, it serves well for the construction of new buildings, the buildings we hope future generations will recognize as important links to the historic past that we are creating in downtown Fargo today.